Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back. If you remember in last week's video, I showed you a quick and easy way to remove your trunk emblem. This way you can customize it, you can vinyl wrap it, or you can buy a black or different colored star to put on your trunk. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a custom lighted star for your trunk. So this star you can buy online. I'll leave a link in the description below. It comes in different colors. You can buy it in red, you can buy it in blue, or you can buy it in white. I recommend you do red because blue and white is usually illegal in most countries. So there's multiple different ways that you can wire up this light. You can wire it up so it stays on all the time when you turn on your headlights and taillights. Or in my case, I want it to light up only when I hit the brake. So it'll operate like my third brake light. The process is actually really easy to do. It's not too involved. Let's get to it. So here's a star. It's chrome with a glossy black back finish. It's a little thick, 3M double-sided tape all on the back side. It has a red wire for positive and a black wire for ground. This is really short, so I'm gonna extend the positive wire using some wires I have lying around, about 10 feet, and the ground wire about two feet. But before we go ahead and do that, let me hook this up to a battery pack, just so I could show you how this lights up at night. So the first thing you want to do is grab a Torx bit screwdriver like this and you want to remove one, two, three, four Torx screws. Grab a trim removal tool like this and you want to remove the plastic trim screws right there. It looks just like this. Now with this black plastic trim removed, you want to remove every single trim screw that's holding the trunk liner in place. There's a bunch, so just go over everything and pull everything off with your trim removal tool. Next, you want to disconnect this little emergency button. That way you can completely take the trim panel off from your trunk and just set it aside. Now, we want to remove the star. You want to go from inside the trunk and there's three white posts right there. And you want to take something like, you can use the Torx bit screwdriver and you want to push on the metal tips on those white posts. That will release your star from the trunk, as you can see, and then you can pull the star carefully right off. Now get some rubbing alcohol and just thoroughly clean where the trunk star was at. So that way there's a clean surface for the brand new star to adhere onto. Now let's go ahead and run the wires of the brand new star through one of the three holes. This wire right here is the positive wire. And then I'm running a thin black wire, which is the ground wire. So here's what the wiring should look like. And there it is. So for the positive wire, I ran it all the way across the trunk, down the hinge, behind the panel, and right to the area where their fuse box is at. Now to wire everything up, the ground wire, I wired it to the brown wire of this clip that plugs into the light on this black plastic trim. And for the positive wire, I tapped it into the blue wire going into the connector for the tail light. That's actually for the brake light. And as you can see, my star is lit up. And that's because I have my tripod pushing on the brake pedal. So I put all the trim pieces back together. Now it's time to put the star on. I put some tape over the hole so it's waterproof, but you can use some silicone if you choose to. And now we just need to peel the backing and put the star on. 
So the issue here is the star's backing is flat, whereas your trunk is curved. So what I'm planning to do is put some double-sided tape in the center area to thicken up the center area. And now I can mount the star and push it on firmly to the trunk. After installing the star, there is some slight gapping because it's flat versus curved on the side. So I'm going to use a thin strip of black vinyl to cover that up. And as you can see, it looks really clean and you can't even see the gap anymore. You're all set. Now let's go test it out. Well, there you have it. Another really cool, easy modification to customize your car. I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.